in Thane and Coimbatore, farmers aren't just looking at the sky for rain. They are looking at... Tamil Nadu is the first state in the country where every panjayat has AI-powered dashboards and Tamil language chatbots. With more than 11,200 recognized startups, Tamil Nadu is now one of India's top three states for innovation. And a big slice of that is coming from the villages of Tamil Nadu. From Pongal celebration to precision farming, from temple festivals to AI dashboards, Tamil Nadu is showing the world that tradition and technology can grow side by side. If you want to see the future of rural India, don't look at the skyline. Look at the fields of Teni, the coast of Nagapattinam, the startups of Karur. When you think of innovation, you probably picture glass towers in Bengaluru or tech parks in Chennai. But what if I told you the most jaw-dropping technological revolution in Tamil Nadu isn't happening in the cities. It's happening in the villages right now. From Teni to Nagapattinam, from Coimbatore to Karur, Tamil Nadu's villages are transforming into laboratories of the future. And this revolution is so big, it could change how the whole of India thinks about rural life. In Teni and Coimbatore, farmers aren't just looking at the sky for rain. They are looking at satellite data, drones, soil sensors, automated irrigation systems, all talking to each other. One farmer in Teni saw his crop yield jump by 50% after switching to precision agriculture guided by weather driven planting cycles. Today, mobile apps beam weather alerts, market prices and crop advice straight into the hands of the smallest land holder. Nabad backed initiatives have tripled rural tech adoption since 2020. In just five years, five years, tech adoption up 200 percentage. Average farmer income up by 50 percent. Crop yield that's up by 50 percent. These aren't small improvements. These are life-changing leaps. Tamil Nadu is the first state in the country where every panjayat has AI-powered dashboards and Tamil language chatbots. Village officials track water quality, sanitation and development targets in real time. Funds can be sent instantly to fix a water supply or upgrade a school. AI isn't just in the hands of engineers. It's in the hands of village presidents, women self-help group leaders and young volunteers who can pull up data at a moment's notice. This isn't future tense. This is happening right now in Tamil Nadu. Meet Bindu from Teni, a class 10 pass out. Now a trailblazing organic farmer. By intercropping vegetables with bananas and turning them into branded products under the Pasumai label, she earns 1 lakh a month and employs local women. She is not just growing food. She is growing an economy. 
or Jivanandam in Nagapattinam, who built a futuristic integrated farming system. Rice, goats, poultry, fish, dairy, vegetables, even forest, all in one ecosystem. His farm supports 10 full-time jobs, generates income all year and is now a model replicated in over 15 villages. These are not exceptions. They are the new face of rural Tamil Nadu. Through the Gramam Thorum Puttulil initiative, Tamil Nadu is planting startups in villages the way we plant crops and watch them grow. From solar powered cold storage to AI pest detection systems, rural entrepreneurs are piloting solutions in their communities, then scaling across the state via digital platforms. With more than 11,200 recognized startups, Tamil Nadu is now one of India's top three states for innovation. And a big slice of that is coming from the villages of Tamil Nadu. This rural revolution isn't just about productivity. It's about resilience. Subsidized solar pumps reduce diesel use. Organic farming incentives cut chemical dependence. Bioenergy plants turn farm waste into electricity. Decentralized microgrids keep villages powered even during outages. By 2025, Tamil Nadu will have increased sustainable land use by 30%, proving that the climate action can start at grassroots. Let's put the change in cold, hard numbers. Technology adoption, 200% increase. Farmer income, 50% increase. Crop yield, 50% increase. Rural infrastructure projects from 500 to 1500. That's a 200% increase in just few years. These aren't pilot projects. This is a state-wide transformation. From WhatsApp farmer groups that negotiate better prices to Tamil language e-learning platforms teaching robotics for agriculture, women and youth in rural TN are becoming knowledge leaders. Innovation here isn't imported. Innovation here is owned by the community. From Pongal celebration to precision farming, from temple festivals to AI dashboards, Tamil Nadu is showing the world that tradition and technology can grow side by side. If you want to see the future of rural India, don't look at the skyline. Look at the fields of Teni, the coast of Nagapattinam. The startups of Karur, the revolution isn't coming. It's here. And it is unstoppable. This is not a claim by a party. This is not election hype. This is data from the Union Government of India. Tamil Nadu didn't just wake up one morning and attract industry. It's been building for decades from auto to textiles to electronics and the defense corridors. Tamil Nadu, it's not a startup state. Tamil Nadu is a scale-up state. Tamil is the mother of South Indian languages, period. Not by arrogance, not by ancestry, not by opinion, but by origin. And we should all be proud because in that mother's story lies the shared soul of the South. Tamil wasn't born out of thin air in 300 BC. To reach the sophistication of Tolkapiyam and Sangam, it needed century of evolution.